Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Glenn, the Total Sales Guy. Hey, in this video, I wanna do a short little tutorial on the proper way to use the POR15 Rust Preventive product. Um, some people call it POR15, it goes by the same name. Um, but what this is a stop rust kit. Uh, it's a little small kit to uh, do those small little repairs. Um, what it comes with, it comes with a, a water-based uh, wax and grease remover, cleaner degreaser, also uh, metal prep, and also you get a little four ounce um, can of the uh, rust preventive product itself. Also it comes with some gloves, a um, little foam brush here and a little bristle brush here as well. One thing I, I do get calls about is that the product is failing. Um, all, all the instances that I've dealt with, um, it's always been a, it's always been an issue with the preparation. With this product, this will not work by itself. Um, it needs these other two steps to adhere properly. So, um, like a lot of the calls I get are from a delamination. Once again, this isn't gonna work by itself. It needs a proper cleaner, it needs the proper metal etch for this to work successfully. So in this video, I just wanna go over the one, two, three step process. Step one, clean it. Step two, prep it. Step three, coat it. Um, I couldn't find a, a, a rusty pipe, but this is about as good as I could get. Um, it's got a little surface rust on it. First things first, we're gonna clean it get all the dust, get all the scale. If it's a really, really bad, badly rusted um, pipe or metal, get the scale off, get the flaky stuff off first. Um, and the rest of it, you can just leave. Because what's gonna happen is, we're gonna use the cleaner. Also, yeah, don't let me forget, wear gloves with this product, because it will not come off your hands. Get a little um, squirt bottle. As you can see, I use different gloves. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna saturate. You're just gonna saturate the pipe with the cleaner and let it sit for roughly five to 10 minutes. Um, after that, you're gonna see that it's gonna kind of give you kind of a, a, a white residue-ish look to it. And what that's doing is it's getting all of the, the oils, the uh, grease, the contaminants off of the surface for the next step. You wanna wash it with, with soap and water or, or just water as well, um, then dry it. Then we're gonna to go to step number two. Step number two is going to be the metal prep. Metal prep, same as step one. We have a little trigger bottle, attach it to the, uh, to the metal prep, same thing. With, with the metal prep, what you're gonna do is you're going to keep the metal saturated, keep it wet. Um, spray it on within the five and 10 minutes, keep that area wet. But what it's gonna do, it's going to etch the metal, but also it's gonna leave a zinc phosphate coating. That's gonna be like a protective coating before you apply the, uh, the rust preventive. So once again, after about five to 10 minutes, wash it with water, soap and water, dry it. After you dry it, then it's time to apply the rust preventive. Um, and this is a soup, the, used to be called the super starter kit. Now it's called the stop rust kit. Um, same, same, same product. Comes in this little small, um, small um, four ounce. Also, it comes in quarts and it comes in gallons. So, and as well as the, the metal prep and the, the cleaner. Those comes in quarts and gallons as well. Um, so after you've completed step one and step two, we're gonna move to step three, and that's applying the POR15, POR15. And when, when applying the, uh, the rust preventive, it's key not to put the coats on thick. You wanna put two thin 
coats on there because it flows out really, really nice. So you can use the, the uh, bristle brush that's provided, or if you're doing a larger surface and you're using a, the quart or the gallon, obviously you could use a, a, a larger brush to apply it. The key thing is, like I said, thin coats. And the product will flow out perfectly by itself. Let that sit for um, approximately till you, till you get a, what we call a, a finger drag. And what that is, is where your, your, hand, your finger doesn't pull the product when you touch it. When you drag it across the surface, it actually leaves like a, a trail without transferring to your finger. Um, so that's gonna be the indicator for your second coat. Um, and let me, let, let me emphasize, this product dries better in humid um, instances. So if it's a dry, dry climate, it might take a little longer. It is a moisture cured urethane. So it's not like if you're painting something where it's actually air dries the product or, or it's a um, catalyzed product dries it. No, this is actually cured by moisture. So the humid, the better. So after you applied your first coat and you have that finger drag, like I was explaining, go ahead and apply your second coat. But remember, thin coats, thin is better. Thicker, you might get a little sag or you might get a, a, a solvent pop. So you don't, you don't want that. So key, thinner is better. So after you applied your second coat, let it dry. You don't need to apply a third coat. Two coats is all you need, trust me. And after you've applied your two thin coats, after about 24 hours, this is what you get. These are a couple pipes I've done previously. A really nice float out finish. Using a, a bristle brush, it's pretty amazing. And as far as strength, no chips, just some dents. That's from, that's from beating them with the metal. One thing I want to, uh, want to add as well is there is no UV protection with this product. So that being said, uh, we have a lot of top coats with um, the POR15 line. So visit POR15.com and you can see the uh, top coats that we have available. Also, go to your local jobber store and pick up one of our, our catalogs. That way you can see all of our other products we have available. Perfect. All right guys, thanks for watching. One thing I wanted to add, I want to give Rob a big thank you from POR15 for sending me this great shirt. Unfortunately, I got a little late. I've already uh, recorded the video, but I just wanted to uh, put that in there and thanks, thank you again, Rob.